Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Text Chainsaw Massacre, the game video today. A very exciting one as Gun Interactive just dropped a brand new trailer. This one is spotlighting the upcoming map, The Mill. Now, before I say anything else and go into details, let's take a look at that trailer. First of all, a pleasant surprise here. It didn't say coming soon. It actually came with a legitimate release date, and that is March 28th, two weeks from Thursday, not far away. I thought we were going to sneak into mid-April before we saw this new map, but nope, just two more weeks and you'll be able to play this, and it looks pretty crazy. So the Devil's River Mill shut down and was left abandoned, and at some point, the Slaughter family took it over, and now it is just one more location full of their traps their batteries, their generators, etc. They took this place over and now it's one more place for them to call home, I guess. One thing in particular that makes this map interesting is the riverbed. You see it all over the place in here. It's a whole other area to traverse. It's much different than other maps because usually there's a ground level and then you know, in Nancy's house, you work your way upstairs or you work your way out to the battery or the generator, whatever it is. Usually the ground level is about as far as it goes and then like an upstairs to a house. This has the riverbed, the main level, and the mill itself, which appears to be three stories too. There's a lot going on here, and just thinking about it from a family perspective, it looks like it'd be very hard to cover and patrol, which that's something to keep in mind as we go into this in a couple weeks. It's gonna be hard to learn, I bet, and it's gonna be hard to patrol. But with that said, and you'll see it in several shots, there's a lot of tight catwalk type places, things where you have railings, there's not, you can't move left and right. You know, so if you're in a path like that and you get cut off by a family member and then another one is behind you, you're stuck. There's nowhere really to go. And because of the collision and body block components of the game, it could lead to you getting trapped a lot. So yeah, this is also a very dangerous map for victims too. Now, the one thing I was really looking for in this trailer and I went frame by frame and I didn't see anything that stood out, but there is allegedly a new form of escape on this map. Although we thought the same thing for Nancy's house because Wes Keldner did say that there is going to be different escapes in the future. Well, maybe now it's for the mill. And I didn't see anything that stood out specifically, but I'll tell you what, this office looks suspicious. All right, the office is at the top of the mill. I feel like there's something you could do up here that would lead to a different type of escape but uh, for sure just based on the the long overhead flying shots then we see one of the main gates that leads to a different area that's probably your battery area or your gen area we see the fuse box door in the basement in that big crane shot but beyond that not really clear what other escapes there might be and if there will be a new one available but i really hope there is something to spice it up a little bit this map is already going to be doing that don't get me wrong but something a little bit different to escape would be pretty cool too another thing that was mentioned in a previous live stream is that wells were going to be a little bit different on this map now we can see a well clear as day in that flying shot but i think what they're referring to is the pipes that you can see on the side of the mill that seem to go from floor to floor you might be able to traverse those as victims and use those to escape family, but nothing is really clear on what that means. 
maybe it's just something different where you land in terms of the well, or it is something that's actually traversing, you know, vertically without actually going back to the basement. So we'll see what plays out there. But all around, this map looks very cool and very unique compared to what we've seen in the past. This seems like it could be something that is hard to patrol, but hard to escape at the same time. and actually could lead to a pretty balanced experience. We know when you, know, you go play at family house, the family has an advantage, or you go play at Nancy's house and the victims have an advantage. We know that feeling. I would like to have a very balanced map that is difficult for family to patrol, but is at the same time, you can get trapped in an instant and people aren't escaping in two minutes or less. And like I said previously, the verticality of this map and the amount of layers that you can go through, the amount of floors you can go through to get to one place to the next, that seems like it could lead to a whole other challenging component and even harder to learn and explore as well. But I don't know, that's my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.